almost two weeks ago, Nintendo were nice enough to show us a bit of sympathy and give us an absolutely amazing Nintendo Direct. Many different games and titles were shown off, like Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Bayonetta 3, and, most interesting of all, Splatoon 3. I know I'm a bit late to the party on this one, but some people in a Discord server and my Google search history are nice enough to forge a theory on the matter. There has been a notable amount of Splatoon 3 theories on the subject, but I believe by the end of this video, you'll have learned one fact that you didn't already know about Splatoon. So, without further ado, let's get going through the evidence that I've compiled. Most of the evidence that i found lies here at the end of the trailer, when the new Agent 3 is just chilling on what looks to be some snow. Now, please don't focus on her at all and look at the backdrop. Does anything ring bells here? Maybe it's the sun shining brightly. Maybe it's the odd facility in the very back of the shot. Or maybe it's the rocket ship-like thing close to this facility. In fact, let's take a bit of a closer look at that. This rocket ship is all well and good, but it doesn't actually give anything at first. Now, let's take a look at the Samurai map in Splatoon 2, Ruins of Arc Polaris. For this theory, I was studying Salmon Run maps like no tomorrow, finding every single angle I could, and I stumbled across this diamond in the rough. Notice the rocket ship in the background? I wonder where we've seen that before. Hmm, maybe it's in the background of this shot? And funny enough, the connection to space doesn't even end there. The Big Dipper is a fascinating constellation of many stars, one of which being Polaris. This is part of a bigger constellation that re resembles a bear and you can see bear tracks and bear signs on the stage that Arc Polaris is named after. I had watched some Splatoon 3 theory videos before I was inspired to make my own, and a YouTuber named AlphaStar716 had come up with this bit of evidence. So I'd like to credit him for this very interesting theory. So this pretty much confirms that Mr. Grizz will be involved in the story, but what if I told you there's even more? While I was inspecting the background of the shot further, I had noticed the same dome that is usually in a level of hero mode. This may have been made by the Octarians to stop intruders as it was probably the intention of them last time. You will have noticed that the Octarians are now very furry and this may be a shock to people as Octarians are definitely not mammals. This is probably why the glass dome was made and even if we look back at the ship and its relation to Mr. Grizz, we could say that they're trying to prevent him from intruding but failed. Mr. Grizz's mammal transformations still don't stop here. Mr. Grizz is believed to be a grizzly bear or a fishing bear, which are both mammals. It's entirely possible that he wants to hijack everyone and transform them into mammals as well. In addition to this, it has been confirmed on Nintendo's Splatoon 3 website that salmonids are the only creatures that can cure this furry mess. This is really interesting and puts a cool spin on the lore. You may have pieced this puzzle together by now, but if not, let me explain. In Splatoon 2, you can work for Mr. Grizz to kill Salmonids. Since Salmonids are the only species that can control the fur, you can see why Mr. Grizz wants to kill them. He doesn't want their eggs of power, he wants their eggs so that he can wipe their species out altogether. The small fry in the trailer may be the last Salmonid ever, leading the species into extinction. We may never know. This is about all the evidence that I've gathered so far. Feel free to leave any other points towards this in the comments. And in addition, if you like this content, be sure to like the video to tell me how much you did indeed like it. Let me know what I did great, and what I did so bad that I should be sent to the depths of hell for it in the comments as well. Aside from that, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you all stay safe. Later!